So I enjoy the occasional game of Elite Dangerous and by occasional I mean maybe once or twice a year and that quite often leaves me forgetting what all the commands are on the keyboard. So I'd seen something recently that would help me out with this but I would need a tablet. Handily, Dragon Touch have been in touch and asked me to review one of their tablets. This is it, this is the 10 inch Dragon Touch Android tablet. I'm not the only one with this keyboard shortcut problem. If you look online, there's plenty of layouts that you can print out, but none offer the immersion I was after. I have tried the HCS voice control system, which works really well and even allows you to install celebrity voice packs so that when you issue a command, someone like William Shatner or one of the other crew members will be the voice of the computer responding. However, I didn't always want to talk to the computer and I also <laughs> quite often just forgot the commands I had to say. And it was while I was testing out the tablet and doing some research that I remembered another option I hadn't yet tried. This is Game Glass. This is a free to download app for your phone and tablet. You install it on your computer and also on your second device and it maps the keys over to a visual display, meaning you don't have to look something up and then look at your keyboard. You simply put and prod your tablet or mobile phone. It sounded fantastic. It sounded like exactly what I was after to solve my poor memory problems. So I decided to give it a go. Game Glass and the Dragon Touch tablet works really well together. Game Glass maps the controls that I always forget about onto the tablet screen and allows you to push and swipe your way around. It has various modes available so you can reconfigure it from simple flying mode to combat to exploration and it even has a live data feed. You can see the tablet's responding really well and it gives you a really incredible immersive experience when playing a game. Not only available for Elite Dangerous but they also support Star Citizen. The Dragon Touch tablet and Game Glass work brilliantly well together. I'm really enjoying the combination. It makes it just that little bit more real when you're flying around in space to have something to jab in front of you and the little beepy beep noises. It comes pre-installed with Android 9 and you can expand the memory via an SD card. It's quite a chunky tablet, but around the side you've got the volume rockers and the power button. I wanted to check out the multimedia capabilities, so I sat down and browsed through my own YouTube channel and the screen looks really good on this. It's very good for multimedia. Let's fire up Netflix and check out the interface as quite often these low cost tablets can suffer from slightly sluggish interface but you can see here Netflix works fine. It's actually quite smooth as you're scrolling through and the playback is also fine. I found exactly the same with Amazon Prime, very smooth interface and no issue with playback at all. But what about gaming as that's also a problem area for low cost tablets? Well. If we take a look at Asphalt 8, you can see it runs really well. It's really nice and smooth. It's responsive. This game uses motion controls, so you tilt it left and right to control the car. And it was really good fun. I got lost in this for quite a while, racing around the track. One thing I will say, though, the sound quality isn't brilliant. The speakers are on the top, and they're okay, but they sound a little bit tinny and a little bit painful at high volume. I make use of a service called Readly, which is basically Netflix for magazines, and that looks great on the tablet. You can browse through, swipe through, and I'm very impressed with how responsive it is. Of course, I don't just lounge around playing games and reading magazines. When I wanted to get on with some work, I fired up Google Docs and found this worked very well on the tablet. You can easily search for images, type via the on-screen keyboard. It handles all basic tasks really well. I highly recommend Game Glass. The tablet's very good as well, even if you're not using it for Game Glass, it has a range of uses. You may have noticed the tablet was on a really cool stand. That's the Whiplab Slope, which I've recently reviewed. Click this video to go and watch that, and I'll see you there.